Hello and welcome to the Music Theory Guy clinic with me, Music Theory Guy. If you've got a question about music theory, this is the place to get it answered. If you'd like to get in touch, you can send me an email or you can contact me via Facebook or Twitter. Now that's precisely what Mark from Paris, Peter McMurray from Tasmania in Australia, Tyler Snodgrass from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Curtis McDonald from Ontario in Canada and YouTuber Nico Miranda have done. They've all contacted me and they want to know about modes. Firstly, thank you very much for everybody who sent me a message. I really do appreciate it. But before we do have a look at modes, please be aware that you do need to know about tones and semitones or whole steps and half steps before we go looking at modes. Please have a look at my videos on accidentals and semitones before we go any further. But if you are ready, hold on to your hats. Let's have a look. Okay, so there are seven different types of modes and they are called Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Aeolian and Locrian. Now I remember the first time I came across modes and I really struggled how to remember these. So there's a phrase that I've heard before and you may have your own phrase and it is I don't play loud music after lunch. And what you do, you take the first letter of that phrase and that becomes the first letter of each of our modes. Now, I appreciate that there are two L's, so you're going to have to remember that Locrian and Lydian are in there. And for whatever reason, I seem to remember that Locrian always comes last. So that I don't play loud music after lunch is a really helpful way to help you remember the names of all the modes. Now, all modes are, are a series of tones and semitones. Now, if you're not familiar with tones and semitones, you may actually know them as whole steps and half steps. They're exactly the same things. It depends where you are in the world. Some people refer to them as tones and semitones. Others refer to them as whole steps and half steps. For the rest of this video, I'm going to refer to tones and semitones. So as you can see here, I'm saying that Ionian is made up of tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. Now, just so that we're absolutely clear what I mean by that, let's have a look at Ionian on C. In other words, an Ionian mode that starts and ends on C. So here's the C in the treble clef. And we need to go up a tone because that's the first instruction of our Ionian mode. So we go up a tone and that takes us to the D. The next instruction is to go up a tone again and that takes us to the E, then it's a semitone, that takes us to the F, and so on and so on, until we get all the way to the top. And that would be our completed Ionian on C. Now, modes can start on absolutely any note of your choosing. As long as it follows tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone, it's always going to be an Ionian mode. Here's Ionian on D, so a mode that starts and ends on D. And this is what it looks like. And as you can see, it's made up of that pattern of tones and semitones for Ionian. And this would be the completed mode for Ionian on D. Now, at this point, if you're thinking that you've come across this particular pattern of tones and semitones before, then you're probably right. It's actually the same pattern of tones and semitones that you'd have in a major scale. So if we go back and have a look at our Ionian on D, you can see that this is exactly the same as a D major scale. So that's quite a nice introduction to modes in that remembering that Ionian is exactly the same pattern of tones and semitones as a major scale. Let's have a look at the other modes. First of all, Dorian. Its pattern is tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone, tone. Now, if it's any help at all, all this pattern is, is that we've shifted the first instruction of Ionian mode and we've put it at the end of Dorian. So Phrygian, for example, that starts on a semitone, then it's tone, 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 semitone, tone, tone. All that's happened this time is that we've taken the first instruction of Dorian, the tone, and we've put it at the end of Phrygian. And this pattern keeps going. So Lydian, we take the first instruction of Phrygian and put it at the end and so on and so on. We go through Lydian, mix Lydian, Aeolian and Locrian. So hopefully this diagram shows you how they're all related in terms of tones and semitones. We have this sort of slight shift. We move that first instruction of the previous mode and put it at the end of the next mode. So the tones and semitones are the nuts and bolts of each of our modes. They tell us and they help us to work out what notes are included in each mode. But there is another helpful method to help you work out modes, and that's to do with the white notes. Now, when I say white notes, I'm imagining that you're looking at a piano and you're not using any of the black notes, so sharps and flats, only the white notes. 
So for example, if we were to look again at Ionian on C, there are no sharps and flats in this particular mode. It's made up of tones and semitones, but because it starts and ends on C and there are no sharps and flats in it, we know straight away that it is Ionian on C. If we were to write out all the white notes from D to D, and we calculate the tones and semitones part of each of those notes, it comes out as tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone, tone, which is exactly the same as our Dorian mode. So when we see all the white notes from D to D, we know that the mode is Dorian on D. So if we were to write out all the white notes from E to E, that would work out to be semitone, tone, 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 semitone, tone, tone, which is the Phrygian mode. Lydian mode is all the white notes from F to F. Mixolydian is all the white notes from G to G. Now, Aeolian, it's worth just pausing for a moment. And if we pop it onto our treble clef stave or staff at the very top, it actually works out to be exactly the same as a natural minor scale. Now, if you're not familiar with natural minor scales, don't worry, but it might be a nice, helpful signpost for you if you come across that particular pattern of tones and semitones. It is the same as a natural minor scale. So all the white notes from A to A, that is an Aeolian mode. And finally, if you were to write out all the white notes from B to B, that's the same as the Locrian mode. Now, as I said earlier, modes can start on any note of your choosing. This white note method is just a helpful way, a quick way sometimes, to help you work out which mode that you're looking at or listening to. So if you do come across the white notes E to E, for example, and there are no sharps or flats, you know that you're in the Phrygian mode. Of course, if there are black notes or sharps or flats, then you're going to have to work out which mode that you're using in a slightly different way. OK, so I'm going to pop these patterns of tones and semitones at the bottom of the screen and we're going to have a look at a couple of typical music theory questions. So if you need to pause this video to work these out first, please do so. There are two questions. First of all, what scale is this? And we've got G to G, but we can see that there are some sharps in there, so we can't use that white note method. And the second question is write mixolydian on E. So as I say, pause this video if you need to, because I'm just about to go through the answers. OK, so to answer question one, all we've got to do is work out the pattern of tones and semitones. Now, this particular scale starts on a G and it goes up to an A. So they're a tone apart. The A to the B is a tone apart. Then it's a tone, semitone from the C sharp to the D and so on and so on. We work out each of the distances apart and we come up with tone, 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 semitone, tone, tone, semitone. Now, if we look at the list of modes at the bottom of the screen, we can see that Lydian has that exact same pattern so that we know that we're using Lydian mode. Now that isn't quite our answer because the scale or mode starts and ends on a G, the correct answer would be Lydian on G. So for question two, write Mixolydian on E. All we do is look at our pattern of tones and semitones for Mixolydian. And we've already been given the first note, the E. So all we do, we follow that pattern. We use the tone first of all, we go up a tone from the E and that takes us to F sharp. Then the next instruction is a tone up and we go to G sharp. Now, if you're wondering why A flat wouldn't be an acceptable answer here, remember with scales, you've always got to have a pattern of notes that are on a line and then a space, line then space, or a space then a line, space then a line and so on. So if you had put A flat, we would have had the F sharp in a space and then the A flat in a space as well. It must always follow that pattern of space, line, space, line, or line, space, line, space. So let's carry on for the moment. Then we go up a semitone from the G sharp that takes us to the A, and then a tone up takes us to the B, a tone up takes us to the C, a semitone up takes us to the D, and finally the tone takes us back to that final E. So by following that pattern of tones and semitones, as, as in Mixolydian, that gives us Mixolydian on E. OK, well, I hope that's been useful to you, Mark, Peter, Tyler, Curtis and Nico and anybody else that's been watching. I hope I've clarified any queries you may have about modes. If anybody has any further questions about music theory, please do send me an email or contact me via Facebook or Twitter. I really do look forward to receiving your messages. In the meantime, many thanks for watching and please do subscribe. Or you can contact me, Nico Miranda. Thank you so much for all of your messages. Oh, why can't I do that? Cheers. Now, 